driving in Central Florida can be anything but easy at times. However, one group in Orlando hopes to change that. New at 4, New 6's Clay Lepard gives us a glimpse into what getting around could look like in 25 years, for better or for worse. We've come a long way since citrus was king and orange groves outnumbered people in Central Florida. As construction continues and experts estimate more than a thousand people move into Central Florida each and every week. It's imperative that we begin taking action now. That's why the Orlando Economic Partnership unveiled its new report calling for a consensus on the future of the region's infrastructure. By the time I-4 Ultimate is finished, it will already be inadequate. We need to extend and build I-4 beyond. Data from the report points to growing congestion between now and 2045, as Orlando expects to pass Boston and Washington, D.C. in population. In addition to projects already in place, the report takes things one step further, calling for more expansion on I-4, more east-west roadways, and even forming a regional transportation authority to oversee it all. If you get in situations where you're having to commute an hour or 90 minutes on a somewhat short drive, it's going to reduce the world that you live in. And quite honestly, it hurts our tourism economy if we're a place that becomes known like L.A. that you simply can't get around it. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer says progress is underway. Brightline's high-speed rail, as well as the new terminal at Orlando International Airport, should open in about a year and a half. In Orange County, Clay Lepard, Getting Results News 6.